So what else can you do to a plastic kit to make it better? And when I say that, I mean, how can you add more detail to what's actually in the box? Most plastic kits are molded in such a way that they can all, some of the parts can only be so thin. And to get better detail, you need to go to an aftermarket source or an aftermarket part. One of the primary sources of aftermarket parts are manufacturers who make photo etch sheets of parts. And you say, what's a photo etch sheet? Photo etching is a process where you take a sheet of brass and you create a negative of the parts that you want. In other words, if, I, if I'm a manufacturer, I sit down with this Tamiya model and I think, okay, what kind of parts can I add to this that it needs that can't be molded in, in your standard way? So things like grills over the motor or, or engine areas, things like stowage pieces and smoke launchers and fenders especially and side skirts and things can't be molded thin enough to be realistic, especially fenders and things. So what they do is they draw those parts out. In other words, a, a designer will draw out the fenders and draw out the screens and draw out the little pieces that can be added to add detail. And they take that drawing and they make a reverse negative of it so that when they etch the brass sheet, it takes away all the brass material that's around those parts and it leaves you with brass parts. And you can see this is an Edward photo etch set. And Edward is a, a leading manufacturer of photo etch pieces and sheets. And what they do is they manufacture sheets for specific models. This sheet here is for the Tiger 1E early for Tamiya kit number whatever. So when I built this kit, I went to the catalog at my local hobby store or online and I looked up what parts are available for this tank. And I came up with this Edward sheet. So Tamiya also makes photo etch sheets for their kits. So we're going to take a look today at these photo etched grills that go over the motor areas to add a little bit of detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this Tamiya kit open and pull out the photo etch part. And you can see it's a very, very fine screen. And these screens are made or designed to fit straight over this kit, right over the Tamiya kit. So the next question is, how do I get these parts off of this carrier sheet? So I want to cut this piece out. Now these cut a little bit, or you remove these a little bit differently than a standard plastic part. What you need is you can get yourself a set of photo etch scissors. And what these do is these give you the ability to cut these little metal pieces right off the fret. And I'm going to take these out and give you a look at them. These are by a company called Xeron, who makes a lot of different cutters and parts. And you notice these are super, super fine cutters. And what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my OptiVisors just so I make sure I get a good cut. And I'm going to take one of these grills off and show you how it mounts onto the Tamiya Tiger Tank. So if I go in here and very carefully just nip these pieces off. You want to be very careful. You'll notice now I have the photo etch piece. Another way to take these off would be to use a knife blade. And I'm going to go over here grab my little pack of X-Acto blades and X-Acto makes a little chisel blade. I'll take these all out of here. Which is this guy right here. And this is a little chisel type blade. I'm going to put it into my X-Acto knife. You see now I have a little chisel that I can work with. And what I do is I have a little metal plate and you can go to like a, a hardware store or materials outlet and get yourself a nice plate, metal plate of some sort or you know a tile, something hard with a smooth surface. And what I do is I take that sheet and I take a little hammer, a little hobby hammer and my chisel. And 
I can line up right on the fret where it's cut or where it's attached and just take my hammer, give it a little tap. And make sure I get these off. Sometimes it takes one or two shots. take your part off. I use the chisel method mostly on really small parts because sometimes you can't get these scissors in really tight on super detail parts. So that's your two methods for taking photo etch parts off of the fret. Now that I have them off, how do I put them on to the model? So I'll bring this tank over here. And the grill goes right onto this spot here. And when you buy these kits, usually it'll show you where the parts go and how to assemble them. And this piece here will fit directly onto the back of the tank. You can see it right there. And the reason you use these parts, like I say, is because in a plastic model, there is no way they can mold a screen that thin and that fine. That's why you use detail parts. Same thing with the fenders and areas on the tank that have extra detail. So you want to get yourself a nice extra detail set. I glue these on with super glue. I'll just use you know a standard bottle of super glue. Use an X-Acto knife. Take some of the glue and I'll just touch it to the corners of the part and it'll glue right on there. And usually when you put these parts on, you do it before you paint the model. In other words, this model's painted, but if I was building this kit, I would get my, my detail sheets, I would cut the parts out and glue them all on the model first, and then spray paint it, and it'll all blend together. Photo etch parts are a great way to add detail to your model. What else can you do? For most models, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that just make detail parts. And one of the things about a tank model that's usually kind of, you know, I don't want to call it cheesy or anything, but one of the things that needs improvement usually are these rubber tracks that they give you with a model. Most tank models have rubber tracks. A lot of manufacturers now are doing individual link tracks. I found that some of the manufacturers are making really nice add-on kits for track links or tracks to make your tank models more realistic. If you do diorama work, you want to have the tracks sag and look like they're running or you know in a diorama setting. So AFV Club makes some really nice replacement tracks for all different types of armor vehicles. And these are the Tiger One tracks. And you can see they're already assembled. They're detailed inside and out. And you just put them on the tank, paint them up. Everything looks great. There's also Fru Model. And these guys probably make the nicest track links out there. They're all separate link. You put them together one at a time like a real track for a real tank. And it gives you that nice sloped sagging type appearance that a, an actual tank has. These take a lot more time, so you've got to be dedicated to do that, but those are available as well. There's also other manufacturers out there. These in particular are Royal Model. These are um, uh, uh, tow cable hooks that go on the front of the tank, and they're molded separately. You pop them on, and then you can put your tow cables and attach them to them. There's also kits out there for extra detail plastic resin parts for uh, exhaust manifolds, machine guns, things of that nature. So when you get ready to do a model, the first thing I do after I do my research is I go online and I look at what aftermarket kits are available for that model and I buy them ahead of time and plan out my assembly. So that's how you would detail a model with extra detail parts.